all right let's try this over again um <laughs> i was gonna be all the way in the camera but decided that i'm just gonna let the camera focus on oakland and i just wanted to say first of all guys if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad click the link in the description bar if you want to be a part of the chat box it is a dollar and 99 cents to join you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join um if you don't see the join now button also you can go to the about me tab and the uh paid channel membership will be there as well um otherwise let's get into it with oakland um as you guys seen i did like a little reveal of oakland updates i still have not went back and did anything else to her i'm still like i said i'm toggling between i don't know that i want to gloss her lips i feel like they look so natural without them being glossed but you know we're so used to having seeing the babies with gloss lips um i might wet them a little bit um but i kind of like like it with the matte finish look so i'm not sure on that um <clears throat> she did i did order her a bigger body so right now um oakland is on a newborn size body she's gonna get like a three month size body and as soon as that one come i will uh I will uh switch her out so she's gonna she's gonna definitely get in a bigger body but for right now i'm still enjoying her in this size body this is a newborn size body um she her head is a good size so she should be in more like the zero to three month size uh body um oakland a sculpt name is actually oakley and because i started calling her oakland Early on, I just kind of forgot that her actual sculpt name was Oakley. Um, and she was sculpted by Jennifer Price, which is um, with Su Silicone Studios. So it's two partners, um, Kathy and uh, Jennifer Price. And they worked together and then they created this, uh, they have this, uh, I guess their their business name is silicone studio and you can go on their website and order like you know cuddle heads bodies babies you know i mean not bodies but cuddle heads and um full body silicones from there but anyway um so as you can see oakland is not quite my skin tone but if you can see like the lighter areas in my skin is kind of like she has a lot of my undertones so she kind of blend really nicely um uh, with me um but yeah she is not the baby that i am doing the little mini skit that i only did one series so far on but i am going to continue that um she is not the one that i'm expecting like i said the one that i'm expecting is going to be a little while and then i will um hopefully it'd be a success you know we always like to think that um it's definitely it's i will give you guys a, a hint it is a baby that i've never had uh a baby by this particular sculptor so um so i, I will tell you that much and um i so of course you always think this is going to be the one that you're really going to love da, 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 and you you just don't know until you actually you know see them in person so we're just gonna go with the flow on it um stuff will develop as i continue the little series probably like little you you probably can tell by the way the series go if it's gonna be one that's gonna be st sticking around or something i don't know but anyway um also i wanted to tell you guys that um I'm sorry I just I love like I like looking down <laughs> down her little face oh my gosh so um I wanted to tell you guys that um what did I want to oh a lot of people was asking uh will sh this one be up for sale so 
I'm about to start rooting another baby that I'm working on that I have not shared um, any details of. Um, and after that baby is rooted, I'm going to root Oakland. Um, unless I, the, I have one other baby that possibly might go before Oakland um, to be rooted. I decided to put Vegas on the back burner for rooting um, until I root these other babies. I am actually not able to keep every single baby, of course. So one of my babies will, one of the, the silicone babies will get sold. Um, and then plus I will also have a full body silicone available as well. Um, you know, with over the next few weeks, it, you know, it takes time. Um, but I'm to the point where some babies I will show you guys you know before like they're rooted and uh maybe even a kit review before but um some of the babies i won't be sharing until they're actually finished um completely finished so the reason why i do that why i'm doing that now because i found that i work so much better in the background without you know um people like knowing what I'm working on because I get a lot of messages um, once people know what I'm working on asking me like is it done am I going to do this to it am I going to do that to it um, how much the price is and stuff like that which is natural you know of course I would I've, I've inquired before too when someone show a work in progress picture and we always as collectors even me I do it I've done it even recently I, I'm ashamed to say that even when the person tell you that it's not going to be sold until after it's finished, I have slid in that inbox and tried. And you know, it, the reason why we're like that is because that's what this community has conditioned us to, to do. Because people will say, oh, it's not going to be available until it's completed. Then next thing you know, they're finished with it and they're like, oh, it's not available. It's sold. And they never listed it. That's because somebody slid in that inbox and got it before it was finished. So, you know, as a as a aggressive collector, we just be like, I'm not gonna say aggressive. How about we say assertive? Assertive sound better than aggressive. So, as an assertive collector, you learn to if you really want something, you go out of it. And that's why a lot of times too, it goes back to that whole, oh, put the price out there. Oh, do this. Oh, do that. A lot of people don't worry about that. They don't worry about the threats. Oh, I'm not going to even inquire if you don't put the price out there. and this, uh, Because we know that real serious buyers are going to ask. If we want something as a collector, we're going to ask. We don't care. Like We're we going to put that little pride on the side. And I am one of the most timid shoppers. I will say that I am one of the most timid shoppers in this community. Um, so I am very nervous and afraid. I send stuff unsend it because I get so nervous asking, you know, to purchase something or asking questions because a lot of times people don't look at me like just regular. And I don't know why because I am definitely just regular. But a lot of times people either, you know, try to charge me more or either they... Um, don't uh either they don't are they are they afraid to sell because they think I'm going to critique their work harshly or something um it's just like so many different things going into play so I'm like always nervous to approach different people and I try to be very careful when I handle transactions because um it's, it feels like everything that I do do is like subject to be publicized so I try to be really careful but um so yeah so I don't I don't have an issue with people inquiring that's not the thing it just makes me work better faster and without any pressure and so I feel like I do better work when I work like that um so um Oakland for now is a keeper for me I'm definitely I'm so in love with her face and I can't wait to get her rooted and I think once she get rooted and she get on her new body I, it's gonna be probably hard for me to let this particular one go just because I I really fell in 
in love with this coat blank and usually when I fall in love with a blank it's it's a it's a little bit different um to the point where I'm like okay I'm okay with letting Memphis go I'm okay with letting Charlotte go you know I'm okay with letting every baby that I have in here not I'm not saying every baby, but what I'm saying, I'm okay with the ones that I was on the fence with or, you know, should I go ahead and sell or let go? Like, I'm like, okay, I'll keep this one because I can't afford to keep all my babies. You guys know that, right? Because even with the kits and stuff, it's just, it, it, it gets expensive and I can't afford to just keep buying kits and keeping them all. It just doesn't work, especially in silicone. Um... But yeah, so, and I also have some Reborns that are also coming up available. Here's the kicker with the Reborns. I try my hardest to get them rooted, but I, I honestly, I don't trust everybody in my baby's heads <laughs> or sending my heads off to different, just anybody. And I know people have suggested other rooters to me and I appreciate that, but I just like working with people that I'm familiar with that has a presence in the community to where I feel like their integrity is going to be intact and you know I just or I just trust their rooting style or whatever you know every now and then I might take a chance and but so you know it's just you know it's you know I have to send it off I have to, you know send it back and then you know just keep in mind I'm also I have to pay for this up front and it it gets expensive when you're paying you know, three, four, five hundred dollars for rooting. Um, you know, depending of course of the rooter and the, the size of the head and stuff. And some people are charging like six hundred and something. You it it gets expensive if you keep you're sending all these heads out. Plus, you know, you're not the only person that's using these people, so you know it's a wait list and all that. It's it's a lot. So I decided, okay, well, you know, I'll run a few little like specials or sell my I'm normally my ball babies sell for eight hundred dollars. I'm like, well, I might sell a few of them for less than eight hundred dollars just to kind of get some of these kits out of here that I have that I've been working on. And then a few I will hold and try to go get, you know, get them rooted. But it's just for me, I feel like it's an affordable way for somebody to get a nicely painted well, I consider it to be nicely painted. Everybody can have their own opinions, maybe. You know, some people think they're not. But in my opinion, a nicely painted Reborn for, you know, less than my regular price. Um, but what happens, like, sometimes if they don't get sold as a ball baby, then I once I get them rooted, I sell them as a completed baby. And the price is definitely, like, much higher. Like, almost double. And... There's a reason behind that, um, but yeah. So anyway, um, but I'm working on some, new, like I said, some new ways to do stuff. I really just want to get some of these kits out, like I said, the last year. So I, some of them definitely are going to be um, much less than $800 ball, but I'm not changing the way that I'm painting. I'm painting them as if I was selling them for full price. Because guess what? I'm, I just might. If they don't get, you know, sold ball, I'm going to have them rooted and whatever. So, um, you know, I've had babies that I've had ball for a while. I enjoy them for six months to a year and then finally go send them off to be rooted. I figure other collectors might do the same. You know, you can buy the baby, you know, enjoy it. When you get decide you want to get it rooted, go get it rooted. You know, send send the head off to somebody and get it rooted, um, and save yourself some money and time and you know whatever whatever. But it is, it is what it is, and um, so I'm trying to think is that everything that I wanted to go over. I did want to do a live stream on the gym pop because I have not connected with you guys in a while live, um, but I fell asleep. I was tired. I was really exhausted. Um, I've been really tired. And it's because, like I said, I'm I'm pretty much working like three jobs. Um, that's just what's going on with me right now. It's like I really have like three three jobs, feel like. Um, 
you know so and watching my grandson is I feel like I just had a newborn baby because I'm watching him um most of the time so it's 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 been a lot but anyway um what else did I want to talk about so um cuddle babies will I have more cuddle babies I am <laughs> I am very uh nervous about painting cuddle babies um I don't have the little fancy little setups and stuff to paint them I'm not a crafty person so um I was saying that I was not going to paint them I do enjoy painting of course just the face because you know you end up putting a lot of detail in the face she, you know Oakland has a nice skin tone and she has a lot of detail detail as far as realism to her skin and everything but I didn't do a whole lot of veining and stuff like I normally do on her um but you know each baby is kind of different but it's it's very fun to paint the face if I just figure out how to set it up so um depending on how things go and the, the uh demand for cuddle babies I see quite a bit of people are not starting to try to collect the cuddle babies um I may do a few here and there um mostly silicone I like the silicone ones um I don't know. I just love being able to give them passes and stuff like that. And, you know, be able to give them like a bottle. Like, let me show you. Well, I have not, I don't want to put like a lot of stuff on her because I haven't decided if I want to seal her lips or I don't want to jeopardize and being able to cure. But yeah, so I love being able to do this. You know, you, you can give them a bottle and just it's nice you know it's really nice to be able to just put the, the you know the bottle in and not have to worry about anything else um it would slide in if I put KY and I'll go all the way in because her mouth is let me show you it's very deep so it goes all the way back it's just that I don't I, like I said, I don't want to put anything on her lips right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep keep them matted or uh, uh, gloss them. But so yeah, so cuddle babies. That I, what else? That I, questions I had. Um, someone asked about. Uh, so they were asking about. Because silicones are so expensive, they were asking about can they do just the limbs, the head, and not the full body. That is called a partial. Um, so partial silicones come with the head, silicone arms, and legs. A cuddle body is all cloth except for the head, um, rather it's vinyl or silicone. So those the partial babies do exist. I think the partial babies are quite more expensive than actual um the partials in fact I mean the the cuddle babies in fact I think cuddle partials have gone up, up to where they can cost as much as full bodies depending on where you buy them and who you buy them from um I honestly feel like they're worth it because partials to me is more work than full body I don't know why but anyway um I just I guess I don't like the process but yeah but she's weighted so nice and i mean you know i like my babies heavy so she's weighted really nice and she will flop you know and it, it's it's nice so um when she gets her little hair and get on her right body it's gonna be even more nice so let's see so yeah, so this 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 is you know it's nice and you you can still dress them in all the cute little clothes and stuff and like um summertime I was thinking like well what do you do with summertime when it's hot and you don't want to have on all these clothes? Well babies are typically in sleepers all year round. I mean we just tend to cover them up 
all year round. So that's not going to be a problem. But there's also, um, you get the colored body and some people don't care. We know it's a color baby, so they'll, they'll just put on the hand mitts. And if you want them to wear a short sleeve, that's fine. But what I think I will do is probably do like, you know, the long sleeves look, some tights with the little shorts and stuff, little cute little outfits. I got a little outfit actually that that's in here that I got that, that has little tights and shorts. I'm gonna put that on, on her when she gets her new body. Just so you guys can see and I'm gonna, um, you know, different ways and different ways you can dress them. But for me, she's a cuddle baby. So I think because I'm gonna wanna hold her all the time, I'm thinking she'll be my sleeper baby, my, my, my long sleeve baby, you know, socks, booties, I don't really put my babies on shoes like that, but yeah, I I don't I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. I think this it really serves a purpose. Um but yeah. So that is that. Um it was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I I can't remember right now. So that is it. I'm gonna leave it at that. And I will talk to you guys later. If you guys have any more questions for me. Let's talk about it live. Hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, I can go live tonight.